because we're going to let the left hand play the scale. All right? <clears throat> Since our hands are mirror images, the left hand is going to have the reverse fingering. But we're going to be doing the same thing, but it goes in the opposite order. Five, four, three, two, one. Cross over for three, two, one. And then we continue here. Two, three, one. Cross. Two, three, four. Or thumb under, not cross. Thumb comes under. So just looking at the left hand right here. On a C, of course. Five, four, three, two, one, three, two, one, two, three. Thumb under. One, two, three, four, five. five one, two, one. Cross over. Make it easy. Don't make a big deal about it. If you angle your hand a little bit this way, it makes it easier to get them done. scale because it has no sharps or flats, not because we start on a C. Okay? Many times a C scale will start on a C, and the top note will be a C, but it's a C scale because there are no flats or sharps in it. If I added a flat, then it would become, the name of the scale would become different. It would be an F, F scale if I had B flats. If I had F sharps, it would become a G scale. And we'll get into that more. If you've got questions, we'll answer them down the road. But just know that it's a C scale because there are no sharps and flats in there. And, you know, it helps to have to begin on a C and end on a C. Okay? And when I have you play scales, we're going to start on the name of the, of the scale. Once I say play a C scale, we'll start on a C. But notice that sometimes I could start on an E. You know, and do different stuff. But it's a C scale because I have no flats or sharps.